Okay, for this second part, I will start by inserting zeros on the text box. I'm going to do the same thing here. And let's come into the text property here. Just add a zero there. And alignment. I might as well change that to center. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same thing here. Let's come into the text property right there enter zero value in there and align let's make it center as well okay if you guys have a look at all of this component the the name prefix actually start with txt so i'm going to use that to my own advantage let's come in here where i have reset so double click on the reset button there and right in the reset i'm going to declare the following variable let's call it no let me just call it t control t control as control there okay let's use for for each let's say t control for each t control Let's just copy that. Yep. In me dot controls. Okay. Then we use an if to check whatever is in there. T control. The T represent text box. Dot name. Like. It's a txt. I think I should enter a wildcard. Yep. That's correct then t control equals zero and next there so let's check and make sure it's the lines of code are correct so for each t control the t control stands for all the text box in me dot controls so if t control dot name is like txt and the stars means for all of the text box then the control which is which i call t control equals zero so if i run it let me let me just run it and see if i enter let's say we enter whatever value in here and here so let's just enter characters as well and see what's going to happen with the characters you don't have to work on the characters to make sure text box to make sure it only accepts um, numbers okay I'm just going to click on let's try this one so so then click on this right there you see that guys it all changes to zeros so that is good and what about this checkbox so let's use the same method to take care of the checkbox so let's come down in here i'm going to copy this copy everything in there it makes life easy instead of doing it individually okay come right in there and just let's change this one to c control the c control stands for the text box uh, for the checkbox really there and if that happens to be C H K align the value let's say dot value equals force there wrong spelling there so let's see hopefully that should work C control so maybe I should put in enter comment here code code below disable all checkbox there alright so code below disable all checkbox that's for zero okay that's fine Now let me run it and see and check all of these. 
okay decision time let's add some stuff here as well to make sure we can okay decision time you see that guys so that is a very smart move that's good all right exit works as well yeah that's good so all that we need to do is see if you have a look at this this one because this is our receipt we don't want the receipt to always be zero so I'm just gonna change this one to to T receipt so it does it works separately so I'm gonna copy T receipt come right in here and as for T receipt what I just want you to do is to reset equals reset so that's fine the receipt will not end up with zeros anymore so let's try this and check couple click there so that's fine exit yeah okay all we need to do now is when we run this uh, application I would like it to be disabled when we start the system so the only way we'll be able to enable it will be by using these buttons so what I want to do now is to disable all of these okay let's come in here let's go back to the reset button and just copy the lines of codes in there yeah do you see these very lines of code I'm gonna copy them all up to there let's copy and let's go to double click on the form itself guess you guys can see that form click and right in there I will select form initialize this very one that's the event let's take it up so that you can see it all right uh, the lines of code that I copied paste that in there okay and this and I will then say control T control which stand for the text box dot enabled enabled equals force false yeah so I'm gonna copy that and just use that for the other one the other one is for the text that's for the checkbox there okay so we have why do we have two here get rid of one right that's fine okay if I run it now let's run it and see you see that guys it's all disabled so we can't do nothing nothing can be done until we are able to enable it with any of these buttons so if a customer pop in and he or she purchase an apple so the sales assistant just need to enable that of the apple and sum up so let's come into the apple right here this button will enable this checkbox and this checkbox enable this so that you can enter your your amount or how many apples but okay double click in here so all we just need to do is ch Okay, apple dot enabled equals true there so if we run that that's the only guy that can enable this so that's fine okay and what about this so so right in here let's double click on this checkbox and we enter if chk apple dot value equals true then we want txt apple
Now, let's use another if statement. Supposing is not enabled. If is if enabled equals false, then enabling this equals false as well. And txt apple dot text equals let's make that zero right there. Okay. Let's clear, let's be able to clear the text, the content on the text box here as well. So if that is enabled, let's clear it and see. I may have to change it though. Okay, let's come in here and try it out. Okay, we try it out and click on the button, then click on this. There we go. But let's try and get the cursor right in the system as well. Double click on the apple and just right in here, let's say txt apple dot focus set focus. I think it is set focus right there. Okay, let's try it again. Apple check you can see that and let's say we uncheck there so that is fine all right that's good okay supposing we want to reset yeah that is fine but if we reset i want it to disable all this as well okay now let's come in here double click on this and just repeat exactly the same thing for all of this so I'm going to copy whatever I have in here and I want to use it for the orange txt m c h k orange paste that in there and I'll just change all of the text content to orange just like that so the second one is taken care of but we do need to enable this one first let's come in here double click on this and let's go for chk orange dot enabled equals true right there so let's run that and see that is fine and that is fine as well so we will now speed that up now that you guys get the whole idea so let me speed that up double click on the next one all right I've, I've completed the codes for the checkbox and that's it guys is the same lines of code for all of the checkbox look at it okay all right so what I would do now is let's run it and try it out so you see that so click there right so let's repeat that for orange as well okay so with that I'm gonna call it the end of the second part of this tutorial